What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Frank Nitty. Back in the building, back in the sneaker room, back bringing you guys another pickup. And this pickup right here has been sitting in this office for about a week. And these shoes released well over a month ago. By the time you watch this video, it may be exactly a month. What's today? August 7th. So go and Google what shoe came out. With further ado, I want to give a big shout out to Red A. Homie hit me up and say, yo, you want me to copy these shoes if I can? I said most deaf. He lived in the Netherlands. This was an overseas release. So your boy was able to come through on the sneakers app and bless your boy. Now, given the fact it was purchased around the drop date of July 7th, we already know the shipping from overseas to here is crucial. You're looking about two or three weeks, man. Majority of that time is held up in custom. I finally got this shoe to the crib well after release. So I know I'm a month late and I've seen tons of other YouTubers, 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 tons of other reviews online already with people that got their pairs now I'm not in a rush I get it when I get it so I appreciate him if I haven't mentioned this before I plan to do a podcast with him it's gonna be my first introduction podcast and I wanted to give love to a subscriber a supporter and who helped me out in more than one ways than just watching my videos but he also look out for your boy and and obviously I'm not in handshaking distance to him he lived way overseas he's not even in the state so it's only right that I bless and show my appreciation to someone who's such a big supporter man and, and I can't tell you numerous times that he has come through for me very good dude so we're gonna chop it up for a bit on the podcast hopefully we can get it done in the next week or so so think about doing it live, I may just do it and then post it later. But nevertheless, that's going to be one of many that's going to be coming. I would like to do it with you guys too as well, man. If I can get a few of you guys on there who love to be in front of the camera, don't mind, and just talk about sneakers and whatnot. A little bit different. I know a lot of YouTubers are doing podcasts and they do it amongst each other. But we never really talk converse with the fans, man. I'm sure a lot of you guys have insights and thoughts that we don't even get a chance to cover, man. So I'll definitely like to hear from you guys and what you think. With further ado, let's get into these shoes, bro. I know Y'all waiting to see what I got. Got my knife. I have to admit, this is well packaged. Look at the tape work on this, bro. Look at the tape work on this box. Five out of five, man. Can't get no better than this. Cut away from the body. Cut away from the body. There we go. The meat and potatoes of the shoe. Wow, man. This box is immaculate condition, bro. I'm way from overseas, man. Wow. That was packaged really, really well. But anyways, peep the label. By reading that label, I know you guys already know what it is. And for those who always say, bro, you never put the box close enough to the camera for me to see what it is. There you go, man. I'm sure you can read. I'm sure you already know what shoe this is. With further ado, let's get into the shoe. And as always, homie, always leave a note, bro. Yo, Frank, enjoy your European exclusive. I'm gonna leave it out. The shoes that I got. Peace and respect. Best wishes from Rotterdam, Netherlands. Rita. And he left his Instagram handle. Like, I already follow you. I already follow the boy. Y'all see this note already posted. Man, let's get into it. So I got return labels, which I have no reason to return it. Also, also proof of purchase. And here you have it. The K54 Air Jordan 3. You already know about the K54. It's a basketball tournament that happened overseas every year. I think it's in... Paris. So Jordan Brand always pick a silhouette and cater that silhouette to that tournament. And this year, 2018, they cater these joints. Now this three is a little bit different. First and foremost, this is a size 12, my size. But these Air Jordan 3s, almost like a deconstruct. There's not much padding around the collar of the heel. So it's kind of like a slimmed down version of the Jordan 3s. And you know, the original Jordan 3s have a lot more padding on this, but this one is slimmed down, which makes it a little bit more unique. You do got the clear hang tag. If you got the Air Jordan 3, all white joints, the fake me out pure monies. Nah, I'm just kidding. You know, those came with a clear hang tag as well. This shoe's, whoo, this shoe's predominantly nubuck. That that felt material is definitely not suede. It's like a leather and nubuck combined. The leather is very soft. Ooh, I, I like it, man. I like it, I like it. Let's call them over this shoe real quick. You do have black, electro green, and infrared 23. I don't know what that means. Our infrared 23 black is what the style code says. Actually, style code says black, black, whatever. But I do like the pink, the blue, and lime green hits, though. That definitely sets off the shoe. And the shoe is predominantly all black. And you do got an ear joint on the tongue, jump man. Look like an emblem or emblem. Emblem. Is it emblem or embol? Or embolo? What do you call this? Air Jordan on the tongue. So you do got suede around the toe guard on this pair. Outsole is multiple 
colors. I believe Mike Rich actually put these in his closet to see if they glow and they did glow in the dark out. So definitely like the rainbow hits on the ear bubble unit. You got this fuchsia color, then you got this blue, more of a forest green down to a lime green blocking on the back heel of the shoe. You do got the K logo on the back heel as well, along with the suede on the back heel for the guard. Aglix in multiple different colors, as we mentioned, and you know, threes do have different lace holes towards the bottom of the tongue and you got stitching around the toe box and that blue colorway. Now I know I'm all over the place on this review. This shoe is definitely different. Like I said, with the deconstruction of the threes, there's not much pattern. The multiple colors, the future colors I mentioned, the pink, the blue, the green. This is not a traditional tumble leather upper, even though they call it tumble leather, but it's a little bit different. It's softer. I don't know how to quite describe it. You also got that suede around the toe guard and back heel as well. You do got a tag on the back, so it's still saying Jordan it shows the K logo with a glow in the dark outsole. This shoe is completely different from any Jordan 3 that you have in your collection. If you guys are on the fence of a copping this, I would just for the uniqueness of the shoe. You obviously gotta have this in the collection. But let's take a look at the second pair. Second pair, one noticeable difference is the, the heel tag in the back. You got the jump man with the air. And on the tongue, you got the K logo as well. But pretty much construct similar. Suede toe guard, multiple colors on the eyelet. Suede new buck, different type of material. I don't know what you wanna call that material. They, again, they call it tumble leather again i don't know the original material they use other than leather it feels different than any other shoe i own in my collection ah uh, yeah nothing much extravagant on this pair what i do know that they alternate the k's logo that's on the tongue on the other shoe is the jumpman logo and then the k logo on the back heel where they got the k logo and then they got the jumpman logo on the back heel so they alternate the tongue and the back tab with different features dope dope shoe in my humble opinion glad to have these thanks to rita red a for copping these shoes for me and send it over snail mill literally it was snail mill at best happy to have these man now one thing i did notice is the box was a little bit different so when homie got the box he's like yo this one thing i know is different nike sent him a replacement box so it didn't come in the three traditional box that you normally see all threes comes in this clearly looks like a replacement box and as far as like even the colorway it doesn't even have all the official colorways on the shoe it just says black black and we know there's multiple different colors and you know europeans don't have that perforated tag that shows the price on it as well so that's different but the box is immaculate condition man very immaculate condition i got no qualms of owning this shoe happy 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 to have this in the collection it's been sitting here for probably a week now and i just couldn't wait to get it out the box and show you guys i don't know what to say but anyway look forward to that podcast that i'm about to do with Rie. we're gonna set it up hopefully the next week or so and that's like i said meaning more to come we do it every week we don't know there's nothing permanent just a little quick vision i had it's like yo man this guy bless me let me put him on the camera and, and tell him my appreciation also talk about kick and then i kind of thought about yo doing a podcast especially live could be something interesting everybody's doing it not like i'm a fan i don't jump on people's way i try not to follow the multitude man I try to do my own thing stay in my own lane and do what i'm comfortable doing but to venture out and be more comfortable and be more regular on the screen you gotta do stuff that you normally don't do so to make changes you gotta change yourself so i want to do a live podcast hopefully i could do it live we'll see that will get me more from the camera in front of you guys just randomly and you guys probably will be are more willingly to hear my thoughts and opinions live or, or just randomly at least once a week opposed to jump edits and cut on these vlogs you know what i mean you can hear my words and complete thoughts with the edits that involves in making a video let me know if you guys want to see that podcast and what direction i should take it should i do a lot more subscribers than youtubers i think that would be cool man i'm sure there's a lot of you guys that have sneaker collection and have great insights that don't have a channel so i like to get your guys thoughts and also too you know you guys may ponder on some ideas that maybe i'm not doing or maybe you see something that i could potentially take advantage of because you guys watch more youtubers than maybe i or maybe you don't who knows but anyways man that's left open we'll cross that bridge when we get there Man, if you like this type of video and you like what you just saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. Don't forget to hit the notification bell when you hit that subscribe button, though, so you know when I drop a video like this. Everybody else, man, keep leaving your comments down below, especially about this video. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Until then, you guys know my slogan. Maybe you do. If you're new, it's good to go. Good to go. It's a wrap.